gonna go back to having oatmeal for breakfast because um, I'm gonna tell you guys something else that's happened to me in the past two days and I thought this was really interesting but I wanted to share because this is just from my personal experience and other some other people might not be like this but I think what it is for me and I wanted to tell you guys about it um, is that I'm very sensitive to a lot of protein at one time like I think my body just can't break down protein right now very well like I can eat like I've been eating chicken and um, veggie burgers like stuff like that just like turkey even but I don't really eat any other meat other than that but I wanted to tell you guys about this cereal that I bought and I was so excited about it when I bought it and tried it and it didn't give me any reflux so I could eat it um but I figured out that I think it was from the cereal we're gonna do a little test today because the last two days I ate the cereal but I bought RX cereal from Walmart it was freaking expensive it was like six dollars okay but it had all natural ingredients in it and I honestly thought it tasted like a little bit like chocolate when I was eating it and I mixed it with almond milk I ate a full serving which was like a cup I think of it and I had no issues like no reflux nothing so I thought oh my god yeah I can eat something else so about a few hours maybe like an hour or two after I ate the cereal I started getting like really tired like extremely tired and like I was like whoa this hasn't happened to me since I took the PPIs um, because that those medicines were making me like tired every single day when I was on them so I was like whoa this is weird so I didn't think anything of it the first day yesterday I had a bowl for breakfast and about an hour or two afterwards same thing happened I got like extremely tired and I thought man something's wrong here so anyways yesterday I just kind of felt like my stomach was a little bit more off than anything like I wasn't really having reflux because I'm still eating like my meals small and that's been helping with that issue but I don't know guys I just think it was too much on my stomach like it was just too much protein or something at one time that I was consuming I'm not really sure um but guys I don't know how to be vegan this might sound dumb as hell but I don't know how to eat that way I don't know how so I'm just like overwhelmed at the thought like I mean I would try it but I don't really know what to do I don't know how to eat that way I don't know you got to get so many calories from like you know it's honestly overwhelming to think about but I'm just gonna try this morning not to have um, protein for breakfast I'm just going to try to do my oatmeal because I know that that will be good <clears throat> for breakfast and then I'm going to um, maybe have something at lunch I have been doing one egg and a bagel and that seems to be fine like I don't have any issues with that but I just wanted to let you guys know about that that weird stuff about that cereal and the cereal also does have sugar in it so I think for me personally like this is just my own experience um and I found an almond butter I think I might have already said this but I found an almond butter that has like one gram of sugar in it and that's it and I can tolerate that it doesn't give me heartburn or anything but um I think right now it's just like trying to figure out um, I think it was the cereal because of that tired feeling I was experiencing reminded me of when I was on the PPI and I was like what the hell <laughs> freaked me out a little bit I'm not gonna lie I think it's supposed to rain like all day today so I gotta finish cleaning I'm actually um, filming a cleaning video for you guys I started it yesterday so I need to um, finish it up today I just need to sweep the living room the kitchen the laundry room and mop it um, I just didn't have it in me yesterday, guys. Um, I talked about it in the video, but, like, I just didn't have it in me to finish it all in one day. Which isn't like me, but I just wasn't feeling good after, you know, I think it was the cereal. Which I'm really disappointed about because I really thought that I was getting a treat by eating that cereal. Because it was really good cereal. I really liked it. And it didn't have chocolate in it, but it tasted like it. So, I'm going to go. Um, this early in the morning like a little bit after seven I'm gonna wait till eight to make breakfast 
and then get the rest of this down and go get gonna have to buy some more today because I'm out. <laughs> it's a little later. We've just been lounging. We did take a little drive earlier today and then we come back. I mean Cole watched um I think it's the last Shrek movie, Forever After or whatever. We watched that. And now we're getting ready to make dinner, which I was going to try something new to see if I can tolerate, which I always get nervous about, but I wouldn't see why not because I used to make these um, all the time and they're really good and they're made from oatmeal, banana and eggs. What are you doing? It was our star in our film huh? that had, had actually uh, yelled out about the, the unannounced discharge. You guys will notice how naked the house is if you haven't watched the cleaning video, but we took all the full stuff down. Um, I need to get up there before I put my Christmas garland up and clean the top of the cabinets. Um, I've actually, this is embarrassing, but I've never done that. So I'm sure it's disgusting, but... <laughs> I need to try to find a way to get that clean. Hey Cole, come back. Our banana oatmeal pancakes. They're really, they're healthy. I've made them before. I don't even know if I have baking powder though. What's it called? For some of that. You know what? I have it. A little bit of baking powder, I think. There ain't much to this recipe. Cinnamon, I don't know if I should add cinnamon though. I don't know if I can have that. I haven't tried to eat it because cinnamon's kind of like spicy like. So I don't know, I think I'm just gonna leave that out. You're gonna need two eggs, two bananas, and that's really it. Oatmeal, you can grind this up or you can use the quick oats. I actually have quick oats, I think. I do. I do. So I might just use the quick oats because I figure that will be that'll be like a better consistency. If you want it like a little bit finer you can put it in a blender and crush the oats down even more to make it more not so thick but I'm honestly not worried about that because that's not gonna bother me so
Well, I could eat the pancakes. I just took the DGL licorice for the first time. Um, it's going to take time probably to notice that those supplements do much. I do think that the Slippery Elm helps. Um, man. But anyways, me and Cole's going to go get a bath is what we're going to do. And my husband is, went off to the haunted house. So we're chilling out. Um, just hanging, man. We're going to try to get some more water in here because I'm a little dry and I didn't get... I ate more food today, I think, than what I did drink water, so. What are you doing? My house is so naked, you guys. Like, it looks so naked, but I'm so excited to decorate for Christmas this week. Um, it's kind of hard to believe October's over. Does anybody else feel like that? I feel like it kind of flew by, but huh, I'm kind of glad that it's over just because it's been a long month for me. And honestly, it's just, I think it's almost been a month since I've started this whole thing with trying to change my diet and get off the medicine that I was on and just try to recover naturally. It's been such a long journey already that it feels like it's been longer than what it has been. So I don't know guys, I've been trying to do my best. Um, now that I know that I can eat those pancakes, which I kind of knew that I would be able to, I just... I forgot about them so now I have something new that I can make for like breakfast oh I was kind of unsure because of the eggs but honestly um, the eggs didn't seem to bother me because I would have gotten acid reflux if it would have bothered me so I guess I can tolerate eggs <laughs> which is great um, because you guys know I was like an egg lover before all this stuff Good happened morning, guys but... today is Saturday um, the day before Halloween. Tonight is supposed to be trick-or-treat night here in my town. However, it's raining still, so I don't know if we're going to get to go or not, or if they're going to reschedule it for a different night. I wish they would have done it for tomorrow night because it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. What's this? Me and Cole's doing some word cards right now. Yeah, what is it? What's this one? Horse. How the fuck? Thank you. Say horse. Mm. What's this? Mm. They don't smell. What's this? Mm. <laughs> Say house. Uh -huh. you like? mm. A house. Mm. All right. What's this? Oh, look at mommy. Yours. He might have said something about that, but his like attention span still isn't like where he's. It's like you'll ask him something and he just like ignores you. But I think honestly. Yeah, um, I don't know. He's probably, it's probably still common for a three-year-old. I don't know. But I wanted to crack down on the potty training, guys, because <laughs> um, his fourth birthday will be here before we know it. And I want to get him squared away with that. Um, there's a couple really bad habits that we need to break as well. Like, he is so used to taking something to drink with him to bed, and that needs to, like, be cut um the pacifier needs to be taken away um there's just so many habits that are just like it's easier said than done um i don't know so we just got back from food line i just had a little bit of a treat guys i ate like a little bit of a piece of angel food cake such a treat then i had one of these apples for my second snack of the day um these are so good you guys so these are the honey crisp. They're so bomb diggity. So we got some more apples because that's basically what I eat for one of my snacks of the day is normally fruit. So um, I still have some of these apples left, but honestly, I like these a lot better. These are so, so good. Lost an apple. We got six sweet potatoes. That I go fries because I can also eat these. These don't have, um, they do have some sugar, but that's probably, hopefully, they have a little bit of sugar, but not too bad. But they don't have any saturated fat at all, so they're like pretty low in fat. But that is just to have like, I'm not gonna eat these like 
every night or anything like that, but they're just something that I can have when the guys are having their regular fries. I can have those if we're making. I wanted the full chicken breast, but I cannot find those. Like every time I go to the store, I cannot find the full grilled chicken breast. But so I got the strips this time to have um, pulled up chicken nuggets. We got the boys. Cause I can't eat this stuff, but I got these for Cole and then I got these for my husband to have. Um, I got some more carrots. Um, this has been one of my snacks too that I have with my hummus, which honestly, we needed, I needed my hummus from Walmart. So hopefully my hummus will last a couple more days until I can get back down to Walmart to get me some. Cause I did not see it in Food Line. Then I picked out some more of these uh, like veggie burgers. I can have these. These are pretty good. Um, so I was thinking about maybe having one of these tonight. I don't know yet. With, guess what I was going to top it with you guys. I found some vegan cheese. This is called the Vio Life 100% Vegan Cheddar Slices. Um, it doesn't have any dairy, so soy, gluten, lactose, nuts, or preservatives. Um, it's made with, and it says with coconut oil and vitamin B12. I don't know guys. I'm going to try, if I make one of these veggie burgers, I'm going to top it with this. Um, all right. So I'm making these little corn dogs in the air fryer for the boys. Um, I think I'm going to do my veggie burger with some sweet potato fries and some broccoli. I'm making broccoli. So that'll be my dinner. And I'm going to try that vegan cheese, but Tonight is trick or treat night, so we're gonna get ready. It is 4.15 right now. We have got, I'm gonna show you guys these trees in my backyard because I don't remember these trees last year for some reason, but they are so pretty. I got this yellow one back here, and then that one right there is starting to turn more yellow. But they're so pretty though. I don't remember that tree last year turning like that, but it's, yeah, my fall tree that I have. <laughs> Out of all these other trees, that's where I think that one's the prettiest. I made him some more movies for Christmas, and uh, he's really into watching movies now. So I'm, like, honestly really excited because now I can watch some of my childhood favorites with him and, like, snuggle up and watch movies together. I'm so excited that he's into TV now. But um, here is the costume that we got him. We got this off Amazon, but it's super, like, warm, which is good because it's going to be a little chilly. Um, it says Mickey and then it has the ears up here on the hood, which it'll be interesting if we can get him to wear the hood. That'll be tricky. I don't know if he will or not. But then we just got these black fleece pants that came with it. So that is Cole's costume this year. It's just simple Mickey. Um, it was kind of a last minute decision because I actually tried to look for a Shrek costume for him, but I could not find really anything for that other than like a headpiece and I figured he wouldn't wear that. So... Um, but I'm guessing since he's really into Shrek, he also likes Paw Patrol and he likes, he seems to start liking dinosaurs. One of my favorites as a kid, you guys have to let me know if you watch these movies, was The Land Before Time. Those were like my favorite childhood <laughs> dinosaur movies, um, that I was obsessed with. And I saw you could get like the whole collection at Walmart on DVD. So I was like, yes, that is going to be one of Cole's movies for sure that I'm getting him for Christmas. But I also kind of was thinking about the stuff that he's really into. It kind of gives me ideas for his fourth birthday party, which is super early to be thinking about that. But I was like getting excited to plan his fourth birthday. And maybe it'll be either Shrek or Paw Patrol or um, dinosaurs maybe because he does seem to like dinosaurs and there is some cute stuff on Amazon to order for a dinosaur theme party. So I am like, I don't know why we're even talking about that. That's not until March. You know, it's only the end of October. But I don't know. I gotta make some broccoli over here. So that's what I'm about to do. I did a whole full pot because this will last me. That way I can just um, how I've been, it's actually really easy, like it's a lot more easier than what I thought it would be to cook for myself. Like I thought that it would be a lot harder, um, but it's really not because all my meals are super easy, you guys. Like I either use the air fryer, the microwave, or I just make something really 
like my vegetables on the stove for like 10 minutes it really doesn't take me long to make my meals um it's like i haven't tried to do like any special recipes or anything but maybe when i get this book i can actually try to make something out of it that it's like i don't know maybe something we all can have which would be kind of cool um i have not done like a full cooking i feel like where i've actually worked hard on something to cook for supper in such a long time um and all the food that i make them too are just like they're really simple for what they like for dinner so dinners have been really easy but my dishwasher gets full every single night because of all the cooking that i do <laughs> <laughs> all right so trick-or-treat was a bust it started raining we decided not to do it so we went to Dairy Queen instead and got ice cream so um, Cole was pretty happy with that and let me just tell you guys it was the best 10 minutes of my existence the last month because I have not had ice cream for about a month I haven't had any dairy and I've had very little sweets like I have um, like I think a week or two ago I did eat like a couple cookies or something but other than that I have not had any like sweet junk food stuff so I helped Cole eat that small ice cream and it was the best thing ever oh my god this is a bus Cole looks so cute in his little Mickey outfit I painted his nose black he didn't like that at all but I'm really sad. It's pouring the rain down. We just dropped my husband off at the haunted house. We're going back home. So I'm really was hoping to get this on film, like filming Cole, go to the houses. But guys, I think next year is going to be so much better, like trick or treat wise. And just hopefully they do it a night that it's not raining because that kind of sucked. Um, but it's okay because honestly, Cole really doesn't need any C A N D Y because we have some at the house and he honestly is three years old he doesn't really need that's needed he get he trust me guys he got enough sugar today <laughs> he already had stuff earlier today and he just doesn't need all that in fact me being concerned about my health and like how i've been you know with my eating habits just makes me like more cautious about cole and like how i want to try to do better for him but I don't even know how you begin to get a toddler to eat vegetables or fruit when they just won't eat them. I don't know. You guys can leave me a comment if you have a suggestion for that. Um, a smoothie, sometimes Cole will drink a little bit of one, but he never will drink a lot of it. Like he'll just take like a few sips and then he's done with it. Like so I don't even know how to get fruits and vegetables into my kid. It's just like it's really hard to do. Come here, baby. Take me out here. What? Call be nice to Yella. Come here. They'll give you some treats today, baby. Oh, here's a book too. Here's a book. Into this pit. Uh, oh god. So Happy Halloween, today is Halloween. I figured I would finish vlogging today for this vlog because so far I haven't got anything interesting, but <laughs> um, I got ready today. I never get ready, but I was spilling it today since it's Halloween. I decided to put a little makeup on and do my hair. I haven't, don't remember the last time that I did any of that, but we're gonna tidy up this kid's room because um, we could be going somewhere. I don't really know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do something, I think. Happy Halloween, so you're wearing your mummy shirt. Bye. And I'm wearing my Halloween Town shirt. Um, so yeah, Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. That's great. I hate these curtain rods. <laughs> Eventually, I'm gonna get new curtain rods for this room because his always fall apart. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. So yeah, like I said, last night was a little disappointing. We didn't get to go trick or treating because it was raining. However. We still had a good time and we got to have ice cream, which was amazing. <laughs> I think I done said that, but I was so excited to have a little bit of ice cream last night and I did okay with it, honestly, but I'm not gonna like jump right back into eating like junk or anything like that. I'm just, I was glad to have a little treat because it's been like a month, I think, since I've had ice cream. So, oh, it's just, it was so nice. But 
Today is looking really nice outside. Oh, I thought told you guys I would give you a little update on that vegan cheese. So it actually isn't bad at all. Um, I did notice that it, the, what is it? Top. I see it, top. I did notice where the cheese has like, it's kind of got like some fat in it, which is the only thing that I was kind of like hesitant about eating a lot of it. It's just because it's got some saturated fat in it, so. Um, but it does taste like, kind of like cheese. The texture and everything is like cheese, which is like really weird because it's not cheese. What's it? What's it? So we're in Woodstock, Virginia. Never been here, but it's not that far down from where we normally go, but it's kind of pretty here. So we come to a park. Cole saw a bunch of kids and then he wouldn't go play, so. Another reason why my kid needs to get back to school because he needs to get used to being around people. <laughs> He's afraid of people. Oh, look at the little turtle. Look at the little turtle. This is cute. This is really nice. So we went to Walmart and we're gonna find somewhere to go eat um, here in a little bit. It's a frog! What? No, I don't know. I think that might be somebody's yard. See the frog? Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Dee Dee's down there sitting. cheat day for me guys I just ate a Reese cup <laughs> and I had an Arby's classic roast beef sandwich and a little bit of my husband's cinnamon shake from there which was just like vanilla ice cream with some cinnamon the, the ice cream didn't bother me at all the Reese cup on the other hand that I just ate mm, not didn't sit very well but it was worth it this is the first time in a month that I've had well technically last night I was telling you guys I finally had some ice cream that I've had to just like break down and have some some junk you know because like I've been eating so clean that I just I just had like a breakdown where I was like I need to have something sweet and just something that I enjoyed eating once before so anyways I found this at Walmart this is the jello free sugar free and it's fat free so we're gonna see how good that is, but that might be something I might be able to tolerate for a dessert. Yeah, I gotta sweep the floor. I've been currently trying to put stuff away. I watered my plants that needed water. My God, you guys, I've starved these things of water. They looked awful. Um, I'm not a very good plant person. 